Hi guys. Um, so uh, I've left uh, the NXT community. Um, I made that decision and uh, I feel good. Um, it's been hard also of course. But the hardest part was the past half year where I made so many losses, much more losses than I had expected. And saw so many things crumbling in the NXT community that just... Um, it's more of a relief for me to let it go than it is, uh, than it is painful. Um, Yeah, um, so I, I uh, sold a decent piece of my uh, investment and of course I know <clears throat> that the timing is terrible. <clears throat> that uh, NXT uh, is at an all-time low around uh, 2000, Satoshi actually 1800 and I sold for around 1550 or so. Um, on average uh, I sold about 15 million recently and before that another 10 million NXT when I bought a cell 411. So <coughs> I've uh, lowered my uh, position a lot uh, but I'm still actually uh, quite well exposed and um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that right now. Um, I have more Bitcoin than NXT but it's about 33% Bitcoin, 22% NXT and then I have also um, uh, 10 or 12 percent clumps. Yeah, so about 66 percent crypto, uh, uh, cryptocurrency, half of which is still altcoins, the other half Bitcoin. Um, so I'm still actually quite uh, a lot invested in NXT, but um, but it's not longer my biggest uh, position as it has been for two years. Um, because for me the risk reward uh, has really changed um, I mean NXT I think has really a problem in, uh, in, in succeeding in growing in users and um, you can see that in the amount of transactions and in, in the community um, the amount of transactions is about 1000 transactions per day and I think it peaked out at about 5000 transactions per day half year or a year back but since then it has gone down and um, yeah um, that's uh, that's uh, I thought that was not a big problem but um, because Bitcoin at the time also always goes when it goes up a lot in uh, value it also goes up a lot in transactions as did NXT and then after that you have the crash and also transactions go down but if you look at Bitcoin, <coughs> the crash in transactions only takes a couple of months, three months maybe, and then it starts to grow again, steadily. As it did again um, in 2013, after it peaked at $1,200, uh, I, I think the amount of transactions, I don't know by head, but it went down also, but only three, four months, and then it started to go up again, and it ha or maybe at maximum six months, but by the middle of 2014, it started to go up again, and it has since continued to go up but um, and so with NXT I'm, I'm getting the impression of course also because it performs so poorly in the market cap uh, but if you just look at the amount of transactions yeah it's 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 uh, it's 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 just not doing as good as Bitcoin in uh, being able to grow um, in amount of users and I see the same actually with all the altcoins that have statistics on amount of transactions if you look at Dogecoin or Dash um, the amount of transactions uh, Peercoin, Litecoin it's really bad it's just it's really bad it's not going up Bitcoin is the only one that's going up and Ethereum now too but Ethereum has gone up a lot in price and of course then you have a lot of transactions but only to like sell and buy coins spec uh, just for speculation not for real utility so uh, so for real utility I have the impression Bitcoin is the only one um, I couldn't find any uh, statistics on clumps on Monero 
but uh, I, I, I'm guessing these also are not going up in amount of transactions and uh, I think that's uh, a real big problem um, hence why I lowered uh, raised my exposure to Bitcoin and lowered my exposure to altcoins and uh, NXT uh, in particular for NXT I also understand why they don't succeed in uh, growing in amount of users and transactions I think they have a lot of that to blame to themselves uh, the decisions made by the lead developer have chased a lot of existing users away and he yeah he or the community was not able to replace them with new users uh, and not able to grow uh, in users so but I think they could have made different decisions that would not have I think NXT actually had a, a chance to grow a lot more in uh, in users if they would have focused on the asset exchange but what's done is done um, and um, uh, I've tried to as you have seen in my past videos make proposals but yeah they are so radically different from what NXT is doing that uh, they were rejected en masse and um, but I really think the lead developer Jean-Luc makes a big mistake by not be negotiating with people, not negotiating with me, with me and with other important users or people that added a lot of value to NXT. I think it's important that you negotiate and uh, he hasn't uh, done that uh, and neither did Ricker uh, who also is a core developer because Jean-Luc he may not even be a real person uh, I don't know that but Ricker is a bit the face of the development team and I have had a good relationship with him some good interviews but I felt that he wasn't willing to negotiate and willing to give me a, um, a say in the project because I think that's really necessary the decisions taken by Jean-Luc are s often not good for the users sometimes they are but I think these decisions should be taken together with somebody who is um, responsible for uh, the business side of things and also and so yeah I think also another big problem in, in, in cryptocurrencies and also even Bitcoin is the lack of a business model yes the bridge has uh, has gone uh, down and people can drive again over it um, I'm gonna continue my video elsewhere where it's more quiet.